Welcome to this AP Computer Science Review course. My name is Dr. Eric Chow. I will be your instructor in this course. Here is the syllabus. My name is Eric Chow. I obtained my bachelor degree from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering from National Taiwan University. I also obtained my master's degree and PhD degree in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science from the University of Southern California. I'm currently a IEEE senior member. Here is the syllabus for this review course. Before starting the lectures, I would like you to finish the AP exam format and syllabus portion. I would also like you to finish the McGraw Hills Diagnostics exam. And then week one, we will be covering basic programming knowledge, including the structure programming and the object oriented programming. And in week one, I would like to review the multiple choice in AP exam 2009. In week two, we will be covering Java class and uh, its API. And I would like to review the McGraw Hill AP Practice Exam 1 multiple choice. In week three, we will cover data structure, including 1D array, 2D array, and the array list. And I will also cover the AP Practice Exam 1 free response questions. In week four, we will be covering control structure, including loops, decision, and functions. We will review McGraw Hill's AP Practice Exam 2 multiple choice. In week five, we will cover the advanced topic in object oriented programming and McGraw Hill's AP Practice Exam 2 free response questions. In week six, we will cover in the basic algorithms, and we will also cover the review for Barron's practice book, practice exam one, multiple choice. And the practice exam one is also called diagnostics exam in Barron's book. In week seven, we will be covering algorithm two, searching, sorting, and the software development. And we will cover the parents' practice exam one free response problems. In week A, we will cover the design patterns, and these design patterns are used in free response questions. And topic one, data structures. And we will be reviewing the parents' practice exam two multiple choice. In week nine, we will be covering object-oriented programming for design patterns. And we will also cover parents' practice exam to free response questions. In week 10, we will be covering design patterns number three, algorithms, and review the whole set of the practice exam three from the parents book. So each week, we will cover the theory and design patterns for one hour, and then we will review the whole set of the practice exams, approximately one and a half hour. And we will also review the past free response questions for half an hour and the free response questions for AP exam for the corresponding year are listed over here. For the lectures, we will review the key concept and free response question design patterns, and we will use Java examples. And for the practice exams, we will use the McGraw Hills and Barron's problem solving scheme training using the McGraw Hills practice book and Barron's practice book example as example for problem solving skills training material and we will demo how to solve the problems and I would like to encourage you to finish the problems before the class meeting and if possible send your handwritten pre-response questions result to me using a scan image or handwriting format if you want it to be graded. So keep calm and get a file on AP Computer Science. Thank you. Bye.